Hello there. Thank you for coming by PosterCentral.com's video blog today. I'm Pete Howard and uh, in 1964 this album changed my life along with Meet the Beatles. In fact, they're both on the poster, aren't they? So these albums changed my life. And uh, this is just a, a masterpiece of a promo poster in the Beatles' career. And it is so large that I'm taking the unusual tact of just, you know, sitting next to it and uh, talking about it that way rather than holding it, I think. This might be the first time I've ever done that. But anyway, here we have it. Boy, you know, what can you say? The Beatles' second album, which, um, you know, some saw over in England as sort of a lame name, you know, for a Beatles album, just the second album, is that as good as they could do? But to those of us who were there at the time, it just changed our lives. And it's a very, very special album. And this is a very special poster. Look how enormous it is. This is framed. Please excuse the glare in one certain part. This was the best I could do with the lighting, but it's just such a large poster. It just really commands a wall when it's framed, and um, it is definitely my favorite Beatles promo poster of all time. Because, of course, it not only has the uh, second album, but it has Meet the Beatles down here at the bottom. So it's got just a whole lot going for it. The size of it, uh, the innocence of the music is a really important thing to me, too. I mean, you know, they were just fresh and brand new to America, and Capitol didn't really know what to do with them, so they were putting out you know, hodgepodge albums, pulling tracks from different places, which is what the second album was, but it absolutely works beautifully. And in fact, Meet the Beatles, for that matter, also gets praise as an album that works really well. But this poster, if you combine the two album covers, actually has 23 Beatle faces, so that should satisfy any fan. Um, if you divide it up evenly, there should be 24, but as it turns out, on the cover for the second album, uh, John Lennon got shorted one picture for some reason, but you know something, it, it all worked out in the end because he actually has the majority of lead vocals on the Beatles' second album, so it's kind of funny his face is actually one short. But uh, you got to love this line right here, just like on the album cover, electrifying big beat performances, and then it's always great when you have a promo poster that names, even though we know it's the Beatles, but names the individual guys, John, Paul, George, and Ringo, that's really cool. Actually, it's Paul, John, George and Ringo with their last names. And how cool is that? That's really a fun feature too. Even though we know the names, it's really, you know, it's really nice. Um, and then as I said, down here you've got the famous Robert Freeman shot on the Meet the Beatles album cover. And even the Beatles are the greatest. It's just so fun to have on a early Beatlemania uh, promo poster. Uh, capital, of course, put in between there. But that's just really a nice touch. You know, just really great fun wording really makes a poster like this. And then down here you've got next to the Capitol logo, a plug for a 45 single as well, their new single, and it says, in fact, their new single hit, um, You Can't Do That and Can't Buy Me Love. So that's, uh, that's, really, that's really fun. It's kind of interesting the way Can't Buy Me Love is listed second because it actually was the A-side, and that takes the whole poster right into A Hard Day's Night, which was sort of like, boy, these three albums, or these two albums in the movie, A Hard Day's Night was just, to me, that six months is sort of the absolute pinnacle of pop culture of the 20th century. So it's really, you know, it's just really right right down there in the lower right corner, the last thing you see is a song. Doesn't say from the upcoming movie A Hard Day's Night, but that is exactly where it was coming from. So, you know, as far as I'm concerned, the poster have it all, has it all. It's just big and commanding and beautiful, and this exact copy actually hung in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and Museum in Cleveland, Ohio for a few years. And uh, lots of song titles along here, too, I should have pointed out. She Loves You, I mean, is that the ultimate Beatlemania single right up there in the upper right-hand corner? Just a gorgeous poster, really fun and big. So when they're found, they're usually found like in tubes rolled up in the garage or something. But it's always, it's always nice, that's for sure. So, hope you enjoyed it. Major Beatlemania piece from the spring of 64 when it all happened in America. And um, I, I can't see how the next poster will be bigger either in impact or size, but I'll see what I can come up with. So thanks a lot for stopping by. Have a good day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.